Youth Runner here with the gentleman from Crater, Oregon. Uh, fastest performance ever by, uh, by a team from outside of California at Woodward Park. Uh, third place in the Rob Renner Championship race at the 45th A6 Clovis uh, Invitational, 76-37 uh, as a group. Uh, Josiah is your individual winner in 14-41. Tavon uh, third uh, in, in 14-44. Uh, Let's hear from these uh, gentlemen about uh, about the experience. Uh, just w I know you guys have had some time to kind of talk about it with you know with coach and uh, among amongst each other. Just uh, the first thing that, that uh, you know that comes to my mind is how would you guys compare this to courses in Oregon, you know, Eagle Island, like w w what kind of challenges do you think this course presented you guys? Uh, this course was definitely a good preparation for Eagle Island regionals and state because all of those courses have hills and even nationals. Um, not as fast as Oregon courses like Rose City, which is very fast. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> as we saw yesterday. <laughs> yep. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, do you guys uh, feel like N not only individually, but but you grew as a group. Like, uh, I mean, I know the standard that you guys set for yourselves, whether it's coming to Woodbridge or yeah, or, or coming here. But uh, do you guys feel like there was good lessons learned uh, to help you guys for the second half? Yeah, definitely. Um, got a little humbled, and we know what we need to do better next time. Okay, for sure. In uh, in, in, in terms of you guys b uh, being able to you know, race to your identity, right? I mean, obviously, yeah. it's not like you're unfamiliar with uh, with, with these California teams, but they're certainly more familiar with this course, I think, that you guys have as level of playing field as anyone when you go to Woodbridge. Uh, but is, do you, I mean, are you guys only locked in on staying connected with, uh, with one another, or is, has it been a benefit for, for you, for the, you know, the guys that have been around for a couple of years and multiple trips to Woodbridge, kind of being more familiar with, you know, with some of these California teams that you're seeing on a, on a semi-regular basis? How, how, how do you guys kind of assess that? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely an advantage to like be connected with other California teams. I think it definitely pushes us, and the teams in California are definitely not slow at all. So definitely push us like to our max, and I think everyone here definitely push each other. Like we try to stay together as a group throughout like the whole race, and I think that's really important. So uh, I, I asked him how you know how would you compare the courses to places in Oregon and Eagle Island or Glendive or whatever. The, uh, the the third mile, did you guys feel like you were able to? To respond the way you wanted to or is that kind of the the humbling aspect of it you guys know you need to be stronger in the last i mile? think we definitely got uh, humbled after really the first mile to be honest like first mile we actually all took out really fast and we were all where we wanted to be but after that like i don't know what took us down but the hill really took managed to take us down and i feel like we don't have a lot of hills in oregon and that definitely kind of altered our race so. Speaking of Killer Hill, I mean, uh, obviously not just you know uh, for today, but just you know uh, the, the growth uh, g going forward. I mean, obviously to know that you need to be you're really strong in the last mile, in the last K, you know at, uh, at Eagle Island, and you know Lord willing, health providing uh, uh, Glendivere. But is it is it good that you guys have that experience in in, in October to kind of understand you know what the, what that training needs to look like you know in November and December? Yeah, I'd say it's definitely good. We have that experience earlier. We know. We know what we need to work on when it comes to hills, how to attack them, and then for future reference, like nationals, regionals, and our state course, how to push ourselves on those hills to get where we need to be. And also, being able to, uh, to just try, uh, try to stay as patient and within yourself uh, as possible. Uh, how, how do you think that you guys reacted when some of those surges started to come you know, from, uh, from the rest of the group in, in mile two? I think it wasn't, our reaction wasn't where it needed to be. We need to, I think our reaction needed to be higher up. We have more confidence with ourselves and really get going with each other when we see someone else surge. We need to know that, hey, I need to be with that guy and need to make that happen. So I think that's something that we need to work on a little bit. In, uh, in terms of like just ambition, you know, whether it's on the track or in cross country, you know, coach and, and all, all the parents and all the support system in this group like wants to give this team, you know, the opportunities to race against the best, to, to have new experiences, to see new courses, to fa uh, face new challenges uh, and whatnot. Like, how, how, how important is that, you know, because obviously you guys know all the places that you need to excel in Oregon, you know, backward and forward. But so just to kind of, you know, see, you know, new, uh, new venues, experience uh, new courses, like how valuable is that at this time of year? Yeah, I think it's, it's very valuable, especially because, like you said, those courses, when it comes to postseason and championship, time uh, it, they're quite similar in the sense that they're very hilly 
and just being able to see these courses this early and just know what we need to do to prepare for them is very helpful. The, uh, the, the fact uh, that, you know, a, a lot of people who are, are not residing in California, like, get foolish and they try to equate a, you know, a group's performance or an individual's performance at Woodbridge for, uh, for, uh, from here. I mean, uh, did you guys feel like just in the, the preparation that you were able to do and, you know, being able to kind of, you know, go out and, and, and get a get a dress rehearsal and, and a visualization, like, did you guys feel like... Like you had uh, the, the the understanding of of what that was gonna gonna look like, especially in in mile two or mile three, or is it the type of thing that you know any team coming from outside of California just needs more repetition in that area? I mean, we were definitely we knew what what it was gonna be like and how it was gonna feel on those last two miles. We knew it was gonna be hard, but I mean, it's hard to be completely prepared for those types of things and be ready and just like thinking about it and doing it are two different things. I completely understand and completely appreciate that. From a chemistry, you know, camaraderie bonding opportunity. I mean, yes, there is the business of the race, but I mean, obviously, just you guys being able to share this time uh, uh, together. You know, obviously, like I said, the group uh, that's been blessed to go to Woodbridge is, you know, is familiar with that area. But I mean, obviously, this is a completely new climate. You know, we're seeing dust and dirt and you know, and, and trails and asphalt and grass. Like you get the whole thing of it there you just get a soccer complex uh, you yeah. know and uh, and some you know undulations and uh, and uh, and terrain but just talk to me about the, the aspect outside of of the racing and just how important this is for like you know team chemistry and bonding outside of the racing we like we'll spend a lot of time together as we do like everything going into the race together so it helps bring us a lot closer and it even just helps us in the race spending all this time with each other and really just being friends with each other and hanging out. And I mean, how vital is that in terms of, I know that you guys trust each other, you trust the process, you trust the coaches, you trust the training, but just like when it's gonna get hard, you know, at a state meet, at a, at a NXR Northwest, at a uh, Lord Willing Health providing at an NXN, like that you guys can kind of draw back on these experiences and how much you had to lean on each other. Yeah, I think when it comes to like a hard race and we see each other in it, we know we've done all the stuff with each other this whole time and that we know we can push with each other through it. Awesome. In, in terms of, you know, there were a, uh, a, a couple of familiar faces, you know, uh, Rowan Holman and Griffin Cushion certainly be, uh, being two of them. Uh, Landon Pretcher, you know, raced on Friday at, at, uh, at, at Woodbridge. But one of the things that I saw after the race that was just like, just, it, it really inspired me. Uh, just like, just the level of respect uh, among, I mean, like, I know, again, it's a competition and you guys want to be, you know, the best version of yourselves and the best version of the team, but just the, that interaction afterward with Landon and, you know, and, and Aiden and Broen and, and the photos and stuff like that, like, are those, are those memories that are really meaningful to you? Yeah, I mean, um, in this sport, I like to think that uh, you're kind of cheering on everyone as you're working as hard as you can for yourself. Um, you really get to know your competition a lot more than other sports and you really get a like get a feel for them and we're all just people and we're all just out here working as hard as we can to run as good as we can but I mean competition's important and you definitely want to be the best but it's awesome to like get to know the people around you work hard with them too and obviously whether it's spoken or whether it's just understood that it's like everybody wants to see one another again on December 7th at Glendivere right yeah for sure awesome man great job Devin. Uh, for uh, for all the, the courses that have challenged you, for all the races uh, that have challenged you, how would you describe the, uh, the challenge that was presented to you today, and what it, what it means to be you know both of you you know not only two of the best ever from you know any state, uh, but I mean this is the course you know probably one of the five courses in America that you know people measure greatness on, and you guys are certainly two of the all time greats on this course. How do you feel like this course challenged you? Yeah, I feel like it was definitely a challenge. I definitely didn't know really anything about the course, where the hills were, anything. Just kind of looking at the course before, uh, I didn't really get too much information. So I was happy to come out here and be able to get it done. But yeah, I think it definitely weighs is probably one of them definitely up there, maybe top five hardest courses I've ran for sure. And I definitely see why it has a good name for itself. But I think it was it was fun. I mean, you can only be the best version of Josiah Tostenson, all of your uh, you know, incredible teammates you know, the, uh, the same way. But when you know that that entire Newberry Park dynasty was measured you know, by, uh, by that course, Leo Doshbach, you know, during his senior year came 
from Arizona uh, to race there. Obviously, Fernandez's you know, record of 14:24 still stands and whatnot. Like, does does that give you a greater appreciation of like you know what it means for both of you guys to run sub 14:45 and excel on a course like that? Yeah, it definitely gives me a lot of appreciation. It definitely shows me how difficult uh, it was to run that fast on the course and kind of how hard these guys were pushing on Clovis to get those times. But I do think me and Taven could have ran a lot faster today and there's a lot more to come. Absolutely. Well, yeah. the name of that is November and December. Oh, yeah. We know that they will be ready. Uh, again, 76-37, fastest ever by a team outside of California in the history of the 5K course at Woodward Park. So grateful uh, anytime we get the opportunity to watch the cra uh, Crater uh, gentlemen uh, compete, whether it's at Woodbridge or here at the A6 Clovis Invitational. Guys, stay healthy. Best of luck going forward.